What's going on guys, it's Hi, and Adams is a well-known name in the auto detailing industry, but not so much in the car blow dryer industry. So when the Air Cannon dryer came to market, it seemed to be overlooked. There's very little information out there from users on this device. Because of this, I decided to pick one up for myself and give it a try in hopes of helping everyone out there who's also interested in this product. To start, let's take a look at the Air Cannon itself. This product comes in a red, black, and white color scheme that matches very well with the Adams logo. The unit itself features a 3.2 horsepower motor and outputs 106.7 cubic feet of air per minute. At the top and on the carrying handle, we have an on-off switch, and above that, a knob to control the speed or output of air. The speed control knob is nice. With some of the other blowers that I've tried, it's either on or off, full power or no power. Some blow jars have a high-low setting, but this can be a hit or miss. Here, the power band is quite wide. I like this because I'm able to dial in the proper amount of power for the occasion and the surface. This is one of those things that you don't think you need until you experience it. Included with this device is a self-expanding and retracting 30-foot hose. Coming from a blower with a 7-foot hose, the 30-foot length is extremely handy. I can leave the air cannon in one place and just move around with the hose rather than constantly having to reposition the blower around. I also really like the self-expanding and retracting design. Most car blow dryers come with a hose that's just one size, so if you buy a 30-foot hose, you have a 30-foot hose to deal with. Here when the air cannon is not in use, the hose retracts and is roughly 10 feet long. This makes it smaller and more manageable. The air cannon also comes with two different nozzles that can be attached to the hose based on your needs. The nozzles have a twist locking design that keeps it in place. I felt the need to mention this because some much more expensive dryers hold their nozzles on with modified hose clamps and it looks pretty janky. Here the design doesn't seem like it's an afterthought. The same goes for the padded grip towards the end of the hose that helps to keep the warmth off of your hands because this device of course does blow warm filtered air. Another thing that I really like about the design of the Air Cannon is the super smooth lockable wheels. Coming from another blower that has no wheels, this is just something that's really nice to have. I've been using the Air Cannon over the past few days and I like it. Overall, I think it offers a lot of value for the price, but there are two things that I would like for Adams to change. First is more power. My other blow dryer is advertised to have 4 horsepower and it does feel like it moves water off of the panels faster than the 3.2 horsepower of the Air Cannon. Not to mention that the Air Cannon is getting pretty close to the price range of some other blow dryers that have 8 horsepower. My second suggestion is to add a temperature controller. Right now it seems like the warm air is controlled by the speed controller. So the more speed or power that the blower pumps out, the warmer the air gets. If you have the speed knob at a low setting, you'll pretty much get no warm air at all. These two complaints aside, I do think that this is a good product. The Air Cannon has been my go-to for drying cars and I wish that I went with it in the first place instead of messing around with some of the other cheaper alternatives. If you're interested in trying this product out for yourself, there will be links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.